This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. Uh, see in red, that says Alex, that's me, and the Ramble. That's the program, and we go until midnight tonight. And a happy, happy new week to all of you uh, who are not in the middle of the eye of the hurricane. Okay? All right, all right. Anyway, uh, listen, uh, what are we going to do here? I guess, uh, I guess we're ready to go. I think I have everything set. Something will go wrong because it's the first show of the week, and uh, also I'm a little loopy lately. You know, I my life, uh, I I just don't know if I can do this any longer. I, it's just that way, you know. But anyway, let me uh, admit somebody who won't admit that he is somebody. Um, let me see here. Where are we? Oh, there we go. There he is. There's Phil Meyer. Hi, Phil. Hi, Shana Tova. Shana, you know what year it is? Uh, it's uh, 5759. I don't know. I think I so. I it's some, something, it something like that. We Marjorie asked to look it up the other day. And I can't remember now what it was, but uh, that, that was probably what it was. You know, uh, so. I was uh, protecting those at the Chabad on uh, Monday, mm -hmm. and I didn't take the free calendar, which uh, would have reminded you me. You didn't take the free calendar, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm just tired of all of the stuff. You know, I, I got too much stuff, too much paper, and, uh, you know, I'm trying to lighten the load. Well, when I drop dead, they'll just have to throw it all out, won't they? You know, I, I was... It, that's that's one of the topics I was thinking about, other than what's going on in Florida and how you got your way finally. Uh, you, you know, all these years you've been you've been hoping for the uh, utter devastation of well, Florida. Well, it, it's God's way of loving immigrants. Yes. Uh, well, I I don't I don't know. I thought it was climate change. You know, next they're going to say fire is. I can't remember. Was DeSantis against uh, the, the concept of climate change? Probably, uh, yeah, you know, pro uh, probably. You know, if it's the party line. Also, who uh, was the first one in line to get some money? Uh, well, he knew this was coming and uh, applied for uh, federal help. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, and you know, I guess the people really need it. Have you seen the pictures of what's going on? As you said earlier today. Uh, we have a listener and participant, well, Mark Thorner. Mark Thorner, who's uh, very important to us, who lives down in Naples, which is probably one of the places that's been hardest hit. Oh, yeah. If, you, uh, if you've seen the uh, devastation, uh, you know, people swimming in their living rooms and uh, cars floating down the street. Uh, well, property, you know, somehow property doesn't bother me as much as it is human lives, you know. And the displacement of those human lives and the hysteria that it causes them, that, they, that bothers me. You know? we're, we're not going to know uh, what kind of uh, death and destruction has actually taken place until for a few more days. Well, know? because uh, we don't know how many deaths are going to be in, in Florida just from old Jews getting old. So, you know. That's probably most of them. We have to weigh it against that statistic, yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, it's uh, or or maybe they died well, from COVID. It looked to me like a lot of those houses, a lot of those apartment buildings, especially, look like they were they were made to withstand this. You know, uh, they're all up yeah, on stilts. They're all yeah. up on stilts, and um, they they seem to have held together pretty well. How did those stilt houses in the marina do uh, during the '89 earthquake? What stilt you houses? Uh, well, a lot of homes or apartment. Com, uh, homes in uh, the marina during the earthquake had garages yeah, they had garages on, on the first level. Yeah. And other than the garage door, they only had a thin column between those doors that were supporting the buildings. Yeah. And that's why a lot of them collapsed. Well, a lot of those no, a lot of those doors got wedged. Not a lot of them collapsed. I think I only know about 3 or 4 maybe. 
yeah, they either partially like or completely collapsed. And, and uh, around the corner from you. The Visadero and the one street over. Yeah. Uh, uh, past uh, the Visadero. Yeah, uh, one street north. I, were you on North Beach or? Uh, I was Broderick and North, north Point. Point. Yeah. Broderick so it, north was, Point. It, was cl it was further north. Or further so south. So then you had Divisadero, and then the, I can't remember the next street now. Jefferson. Is it Jefferson? Yeah, I think it was mm -hmm. Jefferson. That, yeah, that uh, whole house came down. That was. Yeah. Yeah. And somebody was on the top floor when it happened, by the way. Yeah. And literally rode the building to the ground floor and walked out a window. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, street level. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what I was doing, because I had a big truck, and I was able to get past the red tags because of my uh, police affiliation. Mm -hmm. And so I was helping people out in the marina, even though I was, I was living in Moraga at the time uh, in the East Bay. Uh, I went and helped a number of people gather their stuff from buildings that were going to be torn down. Yeah. And uh, so I put stuff in garbage bags, threw it out the window to them. And that's when I, I stopped by your apartment and I asked you if you were going to use need any help. And yeah. uh, you showed me you just had one crack. Uh, in I had the a couple room. of cracks, a couple of cracks. Yeah. Somewhere. Well, you only showed me one. You know, I, I guess I wasn't that good of a friend. <laughs> yeah, I would have shown you two if you were a close friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. But uh, yeah, that's uh, so I stopped by just to see if you needed yeah, any as a, help. As a matter of fact, that crack was there till I left the apartment. Now they wanted to come in and fix it up. Yeah. And I said, no, I want that crack there as a memory yeah. of the earthquake. So that when people would come in, so see that crack? Yeah. That's yeah. So you can say you were living in a crack house? Yes. yes. <laughs> well, now you're living in a crack house, aren't you? What do you mean? Uh, wasn't your apartment the one used in uh, the movie? Uh, oh, oh the, no, that was, um, uh, the, yeah, that was, uh, um, oh, no, I forget the name. Uh, the yeah, movie. I forgot the name of the movie, too, but it was a good movie. Yeah, uh, 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 New Jack City. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, and they were making crack. Or... They were making, yeah. uh, I love this because what's his name in the picture of the black actor? Uh, yeah, I don't know. it could be any one of a number of people. The the black actor. Uh, da, da, da. Let's blame it on Denzel Washington. No, he, no, no, it wasn't no, Denzel. Wasn't him? No, it was. Um, well, I'll, anyway, um, somebody will, somebody will write it. He's in, a guy uh, who got arrested for not paying his taxes. You yeah. remember? Yeah, uh, yeah, I remember who you're talking about, but uh, big star. Uh, but anyway, he was in it, and he he's he's meeting with all his people about where they're gonna do things and so on in this apartment house they've taken over, which is this apartment house. Right. And he, and he says, and uh, here's where we're going to build our crack lab. <laughs> and he points to a window and it's our kitchen. Right. So it's our, it's literally our kitchen. Yeah. So if anybody wants to know where I live, watch New Jack City, wait for him to pull out the, the, the schematic, the drawing of the building yeah. and look where he points. That's where I live. Well, uh, then since they renovated, your your building was used in Mozart in the Park. No, uh, it had, what, what renovation? Well, they, this uh, place they has got been, the crack house this out. This place has been a dump forever because the people who are the landlords of this place don't do anything about it. You know? Well, you know, they have given you an unbelievable opportunity uh, at your age. Uh, if you think about it, you're you're paying like, well, and yeah, you have a lease. They didn't for give me any. They didn't give me any opportunity. You, you, you fought for the opportunity. Yes. But trust me, I know that. But uh, because now you're in a position uh, financially, as well as uh, you know your rent, you don't have to give up your apartment, and you could do all the things that you want to do. You know, I I've been thinking. Hey, I'm 68. I'm going to be 69. Do all the things I want to do? Yeah. Well, Have you, you know, seen the stock market lately? Yes. I think uh, I lost a couple, many thousands of dollars in the last month. Yeah, but it, it doesn't matter. The, the income based on $500 a month rent will handle anything you've got to handle. And I was going to make a suggestion. There was an article, by the way, I think in the New York Times today about some guy in Brooklyn. And they said, this is amazing. He has a loft. And by the way, it's bigger than this apartment. Yeah. It's about a 4,000 foot square foot loft. This is 2,500 square feet. Okay. Yeah. 
And he said, they're paying $500 for it. And I went, oh, wow. Wow. I mean, that's amazing. Uh, who, who yeah, but gets he's in Brooklyn. Who gets a deal like that? You know? Yeah, but he, he's got to live in Brooklyn. You, you know, um, Brooklyn's not was, a bad place to live uh, now. Yoko Ono in the early 80s was buying a bunch of buildings in, in Brooklyn and converting them into lofts and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so she saw the uh the possible renaissance in brooklyn that uh yeah uh, she's always and, and smart she, business she, one very smart business very one. smart yeah and uh yeah. yeah i have i have a relative that works for her yeah so anyway but, yeah and uh, uh any the uh so you know i was saying to myself so anyway i was going to say the, yeah, the main okay. place that was hit was um no my mind's a uh, 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 Naples, know, Orlando, Naples, 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 uh, Naples, Naples was yeah. a really hard hit. And our friend yeah. Mark Thorner lives down there. And I, you know, I wrote him, and he said he's okay Good. so far. You know, is his house okay? He has no I... power, no power. Yeah, I don't know how he got the message out to me, but I think he was probably using his iPhone, and maybe that was still working. You know. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so um, uh, I, I feel sorry for him. But you know how I hate Florida. Yeah, no, I, I know. I just and absolutely I, I, I was... hate Florida. And if Mark could get out of there any time in the next hour and a half, I would wish that whole state mm -hmm. would sink into the ocean. Well, I, I like Florida, but you know the water table is so shallow uh, that they can't even bury people underground in Florida. The uh, the graveyards are uh, like they are in uh, New yeah, Orleans. New Orleans, They're yeah. Above ground. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, you know, so, I mean, it's Florida. What, the, what can I say? You yeah, know, I, I but, think this is God's way of getting even uh, with with them for do, doing what they did to the immigrants. <laughs> I thought it was the Texans that did it to the immigrants. Well, the, you know, the Texans gave the immigrants to Florida. And Florida, oh, and sent, Florida them sent them by plane. Jobs yeah. in a sanctuary city. They're not jobs. They said they were they were going for jobs, but it was a big, you know what lie. Well, that's because the people in uh, uh, Martha's Vineyard called the National Guard and the uh, uh, police on them and had them uh, swept out of there as quickly as possible. No, they didn't. But, no, they didn't. Oh yeah. No, they didn't. You don't see the same things I well, see. I know. You watch Fox. Yes. Okay. Big and, lying and, uh, fox. You know, do you know how many suits Fox has against them right now for lying? Uh, well, I thought they all wore suits. Uh, no, I don't know how many suits uh, they uh, have. Uh, at, at least five or six from just the voting machine companies who said yeah. that they've been, you know, they lied about it. They were lied about it. Perfectly well, lied about it. And Fox almost admits, yeah, we did. I thought it was the pillow guy that uh, is got all the suits against no, him. No, Fox. Fox. Dominion yeah, well, is suing the crap out of Fox. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So you're going to well, believe them? Yeah, over Dominion. Yeah, well, I, I heard figured what happened over... The election up, was fixed no, anyway. What I heard about Martha's Vineyard, which was very nice, was that the people up there came to the rescue of these people and put some of them up and, you know, were feeding uh, they, them they, and they, doing stuff they, like that. Got them out of out of there, and they moved them to Cape Cod. No, they then moved them to Cape Cod. Uh, got them out of there because you know Martha's Vineyard is a very small area. I and, saw, and, Pete and they got them out of there and moved them to a uh, army base. I think. Right. I saw Cod. locals being interviewed in Martha's Vineyard, mm -hmm. and it was like uh, it, it was like having homeless on their street. And they weren't going to put up with it. But, you know, it Obama... Wasn't, it, but it, wasn't, it wasn't party. like having homeless on the streets. you got to realize, most of these people were professionals. You know, the, the people who were trying to get over the border were not people who had no lives at all. You know, you think of them as being, oh, these, these horrible people that try to cross the border. No, a lot of them were doctors, lawyers. Well, if they were doctors and lawyers, they would have gotten in uh, through no, the regular... No, 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 no. No. They wanted to get out of where they were fast, because the, well, the because the, the the conditions in those countries, like Venezuela, for instance, were so bad that they had to get out of there. 
Yeah, I know. guess, you know, they needed to escape socialism. No, it wasn't socialism they were escaping. And as well as socialistic uh, government, mm -hmm. communist. Oh, really? Oh, then yeah. you don't know anything about Venezuela. It is one of the most pure democracies in South America. Which government, uh, through the election, and uh, the guy uh, says that he's not going to step down, people are eating out of dumpsters? No, that, uh, that's, uh, that's Venezuela, but the reason oh, why people are so mad about it is is that it is it became, in the last many years, a pure democracy. And then this guy comes along and pulls this pulls what pulls a Trump. No, I don't know that he pulled a Trump, but it's no, not. He's a, pulling a Trump. He's happy. doing the same thing. He's saying the elections were rigged. If I don't win, the elections are rigged. That's what he's saying. That's exactly what Trump said. If I don't win, the elections are rigged. Well, he didn't win, and I guess the election was rigged. But uh, you know, I, I'm not going to admit that it was a fair and an upstanding election. It, of course, uh, you're not going to admit it, but it it, it was a fair election, and. Uh, you know, I just think there was a lot of shenanigans done with these uh, mail-in votes at the last minute and changing the rules. Oh, God, and, it's Wednesday. You know. It's Wednesday. God help <laughs> well, me, it's Wednesday. Okay, I have a suggestion. Mm -hmm. You don't like to go on a cruise where you are going to have a bunch of your fans. Mm -hmm. uh, had you ever thought about going on a trip with uh, you, Shecky, and Marjorie? Uh, taking one of those cruises so you didn't have to do it alone? Uh, you know what I love is everybody comes on this show mm -hmm. and suggests stuff. Right. They don't even know the circumstances. First, you'd have to ask Shecky. Well, I thought no. he was your best friend. First, yes, but that doesn't mean he wants to spend a vacation with me. Why not? He has lunch with you. It's the same no, he thing. Does. Well, yes, he does if I go out there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, okay. Excuse me, I'm getting lightheaded because now you have me yelling. <laughs> yeah, I've got now, this yelling lightheaded Yelling may step thing. down. Well, I have this, I think this positional uh, vertigo, vertigo is a real problem for me. Yeah, because I every day I wake up and I'm kind of lightheaded and so on and off balance. And those are all the signs of positional vertigo. Benign positional something or another. So what kind of work can you do to overcome that there are exercises it's yeah. these grains in my ear my ear canal and they've come loose and they're in the ear canal that's the way it happens and then what you want to do is do these exercises it gets them back in to the top of the ear canal can can they do an operation no to, no uh, no mm -hmm. well, that's no, too bad it's, it's exercises it's little things you do. You lie down, you do this, and then you get on the other side and do that. Do you do it? No. Uh, all right. But, uh, you know, then when I get, like, agitated like I just did, my head moves around a lot, I get lightheaded, you know, so. Oh, so I thought you So had don't a bother problem. me tonight. You're going to. Yeah, you, okay. You're going to make uh, me apoplectic. Yeah, have, have, have you thought, now that you, uh, getting back to my original theory, which, is you know you've got your apartment at a, at a decent price if you decided to do things like maybe travel but there are there are other things are you going to just sit in that place for the next 10 or 15 years and wait till the well uh, till to begin the with to begin with let me ask you this question where can i go uh there's where do you want to go no wait a minute where can i go we would love to go to europe You've already had COVID. What are you afraid of? Uh, getting uh, getting on a goddamn plane these days is hell. Okay? Uh -huh. And then once you get there, everything's going to be so goddamn expensive. A hotel's going to be $1,000 a day. It's going to be ridiculous. Do you really think that? You know, right now, England... What do you mean? Uh, I know US... that. I don't think the... that, Phil. Well, look, I've, I've the... checked it out, okay? What's, what is the U.S. dollar to the I've euro? I've checked it out. Or the British pound, I mean. Doesn't matter. I've checked it out. It all they, you know, it's a thousand dollars American. Wow! Because right now the U.S. dollar and the British pound is at parity, and uh, it doesn't matter, Phil. It's just that the price of things are so expensive. Airplane mm. flights, you know, a couple thousand bucks a piece for us to fly. You know, we got miles. I got miles, but you know, I mean, I'd have enough under the present situation. 
you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just looked at my credit card. I had 202,000 miles. And uh, I'm saying to myself, you know, I'd really like to start doing stuff you again. You only have 202,000 miles? I have almost 400,000. Yeah, well, it's uh, this credit card I got uh, uh, in 2018, I think. Mm -hmm. And so it's taken me that long to uh, amass 202,000 between flying and charges. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. uh, mm -hmm. 400,000, you could go anywhere in the world first class. Wow. And, uh, you know, I, w w the first class ticket domestically is 50,000. Mm -hmm. I think it's 100 or 125,000 to go to Europe. Yeah. First class. Mm -hmm. Not business class, but first class. Mm -hmm. uh, and, um, yeah, I don't know. What, uh, you don't necessarily have to go anywhere to do the things that you want to do. Mm -hmm. I just have to ask yourself, what are those things? Uh, and what, what do I enjoy doing? Mm -hmm. You know, I, for me, it's scuba diving. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm saying to myself, what do I need to do to put myself in a position where I could start diving again? Mm -hmm. And what I need to do is have an employee at the store so that I can leave for a week and, uh, you know, and, or a week and a half and mm -hmm. go to Australia or go, you know, go somewhere and, and dive, mm -hmm. you know, because I like that world. It's, it, you know, how else can you travel and uh, be weightless? Yeah. You know, that's what scuba diving uh, f affords. Excuse me, I got to do something here. I screwed up here a second ago and uh, I need I, to I don't see anything uh, screwed up. No, I'm I'm out of sync on a certain thing here. Let me just uh change this around a little bit here. Video. Uh, uh it was Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes, that's the guy. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Right. You're absolutely oh, correct. You yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well it wasn't me, it was uh Tyson's Acosta. Tyson's that, Acosta? Said it was yeah. Wesley Snipes? Yeah. Okay. All right. He figured it out. Yeah. Boy, I'm out of sync. What the hell is that all about? Uh, you're a little blurry. Hmm? No, I'm you, not uh, blurry. I assume you're a little blurry. No, I'm no, not. You are on... Uh, I'm tired of this sort of thing. Well, anyway, that'll, that'll solve a problem. Yeah. That won't be a, a problem for me. Okay. Well, if, there we go. If if, if you don't uh, want to do that, I'll just make some other claim of uh, claim about the election. Yeah. Well, you could do that. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. <laughs> but um, so, what else is uh, on your agenda? What do you mean? What's on my agenda? Well, what what do you uh, what do you plan on doing? I mean, you're going to sit at home. You're going to go out and buy stuff. What are, what are you going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do. You know. I don't have the energy to do anything. You know, yeah. I'm just full of no energy at all. So. You think you're going to go back to your gym? Is it open again? No, I don't go back to my gym. No, you're still paying the 15 bucks a oh, month? Oh, sure. <laughs> makes me feel good. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's a lot of exercise to write that check. Well, they probably take it automatically. Yeah. 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 So, you well, know, yeah. I've been, uh, you know, I've been entertaining the fact that I'm in the last of my years. And so, you know, I've been looking at stuff and asking myself, what do I want to do? Mm -hmm. And how am I going to do it? Right. And, uh, you know, uh, right. if, if you're tired, you just got to get up and, and do, do what it is that makes you happy. Yeah, I guess. I would imagine. You know, yeah. Well, you know, the thing is. That I'm just—it's just this whole thing of uh, of the uh, of the, the lightheadedness, the dizziness, um, and I'm, I'm sure now that it's not anything that's killing me or anything like that. But it's the you know, it's debilitating. You know, it slows you down. I'm, I got a friend that's 88, yeah, and uh, he's living in an assisted living home, mm -hmm. and you know, he's just he's just waiting for the end. You know, uh, he's he's doesn't have the physical ability to get up and get out anymore. Uh, and I don't know. I don't. I, don't I just found out that my I called her yesterday. I just found out that my third wife. 
Susan? Yeah, is in a uh, nursing home. Yeah. No, you're kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Well, give her my best. You she know, probably doesn't I, remember you either. Uh, she, <laughs> she would. I mean, we were friends. We we hung out. We did stuff. Yeah. Well, anyway, I mean, it, she's uh, she's uh, it, she can't walk. I think is what it is. Oh, that's yeah. that's awful. Speaking of people who can't walk, uh, Jack Bishop is starting back on tonight. Yeah. Oh, he's 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 going to be on tonight. He's going to be on tonight. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. He'll explain, I guess, everything. Yeah. yeah. How is uh, how is his rehab going? I guess it's going. They told him it's going to take six months for him to be able to walk again. Wow. And, you know, you know, so he, I mean, he's a big guy, you know, it, you know, if he's if he's on a walker, uh, what is he about six, three, six, four? Oh, he's not that tall, is he? Well, compared to me, he was tall <laughs> compared to you. Everybody's tall. <laughs> I know. How tall are you? Five, eight, five, eight. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm four inches taller than you. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but you're still Jewish. Do you feel you have a short person's mentality? No. No? Uh, Five-eighths a fairly average height. And uh, I feel, uh, I don't feel smaller than, than anyone. Uh, I feel comfortable around people that are much taller than me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I worked with a guy at the police department. He was my training officer. And he was about six five and about two ninety, mm -hmm. and uh, we'd walk in uh, to a to a a, a call, mm -hmm. and a little kid looked at me and he says, "Man, he's big. Man, you're small." <laughs> the kid was like five years old, <laughs> and yeah. so. But um, I, I I became uh, I became comfortable around much taller people. Mm -hmm. it, it didn't. It doesn't. Uh, uh, affecting one way or another. I do have to crane my neck, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so you know, I so I've I've been, you know, I, I go out and I take a walk like I did today, and I feel like I'm so lightheaded. I'm kind of walking in a tunnel. Mm. Really strange. And and I think about then going to Europe and taking a walk and doing this stuff and doing this. I and mean, how much how much energy do I have for a trip like that any longer? Yeah, you know. I mean, we really want to go somewhere, but I mean, where are we going? Florida. Let's go to Florida. Oh, wait There's a minute. They've good got deals wait, there. A, wait a minute. They got some. They got some uh, a hurricane down there. Just wiped everything out. Uh, I know what. Let's go to California. Wait a minute. They got fires and what else you got out there going uh, for you? Uh, we uh, we got earthquakes. Earthquakes as well. Well, we've always had earthquakes. Yeah, you know. Well, they've the, always the, had hurricanes. People in don't Florida. understand. The best thing about her about earthquakes was is the next day when you went into work, you had bragging rights. How was that? Did you feel that last night? Oh, uh, you know. Yeah, it really rumbled at it, my place. Well, rumbled at my place a little more than it rumbled at your place. Yeah. Did you realize uh, when I first moved to San Francisco in '74? Uh, there was a 3.5 earthquake. I was in the Emporium department store, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it, this 3.5 earthquake felt like it was the end of the earth. Well, now, unless it's over a five, I don't feel it. Uh, have, have you noticed that it that earthquakes? I'll tell you it, what was scary about the earthquake we were in, Lone Prieta. In 89. 89. The biggest thing that's scariest about it is that you get aftershocks. Hundreds and of them. Hu hundreds. Literally and hundreds. And some of them of were bigger. In fact, than in fact, any, anywhere there is an earthquake, there are any number of aftershocks, right? But yeah. they're nothing like the original shock. But you don't know. So yeah. you're standing there, you're sitting there and all of a sudden the rumble starts to happen and you don't know, see at that point you don't know how heavy it's going to be. You get gun shy. Yeah. So yeah. You, I, you go, to begin with, they went, what do they tell you to do if there's an earthquake in your apartment? Where, where do you go? Uh, doorway. Yeah, but, stand uh, under a doorway. Do you know that one of the few people that got killed in the Loma Prieta was standing under his doorway? Uh, well, yeah. I thought most of them got killed uh, in the that, overpass. That's bullshit. I, I know, I know. But that's bullshit. 
stand yeah. under a, you know, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Well, did the building collapse on him? Huh? Did the building collapse on him? I have him? no idea. But all I'm saying is it's not the place to go. The place yeah. to go is probably run as fast as you can outside. <laughs> you well, know? the problem outside was falling glass. You know, along Mar Market Street and a, a lot of those buildings, the, the glass uh, came down like sh uh, sheets of, uh, of knives. Mm -hmm. uh, and so being outside, there's debris, falling glass, uh, things, things like that. That's why they don't want you outside. And, yeah, uh, well, yeah. well, anyway, so, I mean, um, uh, you start getting these little shocks. And so you don't know whether they're going to resolve themselves into a big one, you know. Yeah. And, and you know, we had a, what was, what was Loma Prieta, 6.1, I think? No, I thought it was 8 point oh, something. Oh, no, 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 no. It was a 6.1. No? But 6.1 ah. is pretty, pretty horrible. In hey, fact, Siri, what was the uh, Loma Prieta earthquake Richter scale reading? Okay. Okay. I found this on the web for what was the Loma Prieta and Wake Richter scale reading. Check it out. Oh, so I have to push. Oh, 7.1. Was it was 7.1? So uh, a magnitude of 6.9 surface wave, uh, 7.1 shook the base. Uh, let me press the. Uh, okay. Well, anyway. Door. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, uh, the, the, that uh, the quake. 7.1. Yeah, then it had an aftershock right after it that was like in the sixes. I think that's where I, the early sixes. 6 6.9 San Francisco, 7.1 Monterey. Yeah. And and then there was an aftershock. Does it say anything about the aftershocks? Uh, I, I didn't, uh, I didn't there see. Was a major, I... There was a major one after the initial one. And then they were all smaller. Okay. But yeah. the thing is, there are two things that you don't know when an earthquake, folks, it it might happen. And yeah, the that's big, the big one. It, yeah. the, the initial one, that might not be the, the yeah, big but, one. But you know something? It, you can have a, you can have a 6.9, okay? Mm -hmm. And if it's only 15 seconds, that's not as damaging as a 6.9 that lasts 45 seconds. Right, and it depends on what angle it's coming from. Well, but, but, and, but, but it's really dependent on the amount of time. Of the ship yeah because it's it's kind of like if you take something and eventually you know and you start doing this enough to it eventually it's going to break and the longer yeah. you do it the weaker it gets uh now i'm gonna watch my glasses will fall apart uh yeah. and and so the longer the shake you know you could have a five and have it last they, a minute and a half and man it'd be worse than any 6.9 is that harmonics when uh when it when it keeps going for a long time and then the and the wave i don't know I, 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 stronger. I don't know i don't know what the term is on yeah that. i don't think but, it's harmonics uh, yeah um it, i think it has something to do with the shock wave uh, the same way an oscilloscope reads the uh yeah uh, the signal but uh, hey, you know something? Nobody's calling. No, nobody's well, calling. Alan has got uh, dinner with his mother. Uh, mm -hmm. She is uh, her birthday was two weeks ago, but they went out to dinner tonight, and uh, he he claims he'll call. So if nobody's calling, we're just going no, to have to. Nobody's talk. calling at all. Zero yeah. zilch. You know. Well, that's funny because there were twenty some odd people watching uh, the YouTube. Well. Uh, 30 there's 30 30 people watching the youtube yeah really are you sure of that well that's what it says on my phone you know okay let me see here um yeah so these these 30 they listen but they don't call but they don't uh, call no uh no we have 36 people watching oh really people have watched uh, huh. But if I go over, where do I go to usually find it? Oh, there we go. I didn't turn that on. There what do you have, go. analytics or something yeah, that you the, can look the, There I have 28. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's pretty fancy. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. But well, anyway, so I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm tired. I'm just really tired. Uh, and uh, well, it, it, so well. it... I, and I don't know what's causing it. I don't think it's anything serious. I think it's this damn stuff that's going on with my 
uh, with the uh, yeah. uh, vertigo. The vertigo. It's not really, it's positional vertigo. It's different than the regular vertigo. This can actually just cause dizziness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, didn't Hitchcock write about that? Yeah. It, yeah. Was, it was a very good movie called Positional Vertigo. Right. <laughs> benign, uh, benign Positional Vertigo. Yeah. You got any? Uh, you got any other good uh, movies to watch? Um, oh, I just saw we were watching the worst thing we've seen in months. What was that? Lou? No, Blonde. I, Blonde. Blonde. Oh, yeah. I just saw the advertisement for that. They sent me a text message that it's on Netflix. Yeah. I watched one called Lou, which wasn't bad. You know, it was like a female Reacher. Uh, and uh, did you see that one? I, no, I think it was I, I, Prime. Know, I know it's there, but I haven't watched it. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Hello, hey, guys. Phil. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. yeah. That's Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. He's our only other caller. Well, why you know, I, why, you know. tell me why I keep doing this. Yeah. <laughs> you tell me why I keep doing this. You know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Uh, you do one show on Mondays. Maybe the people are, uh, COVID is over. The president said COVID's over. So maybe people aren't sitting in their houses anymore and they're doing other stuff. Uh, maybe Friday is, uh, no, is but, a good day. But they could watch at other times of the day and they're not even doing that. Mm. Well. Why do you think that is? I think the show's boring. Well, I think I, the show's really... I, I wouldn't listen to it, would you? <laughs> I, I listen to it, you know. There, uh, yeah, yeah. Only because yeah. you know the people. I mean, I never listen to it. Oh, well, you never, uh, you never bothered listening to any of the th things that you used to do with, at uh, Camel, for instance. Uh, you know, you, you I never, in. I, in most cases, I would never sit down and listen to my radio programs. No, yeah, no, I'll I'm tell you what I did though, I would do it maybe once every six months or something just to make sure that I wasn't getting sloppy or anything like that. You did, know, did you so did you uh, not listen because you thought it would uh curtail your creativity or no, I think uh, I'm boring. Well. Not really. I, I mean, think I'm dull. I can't figure out why anybody would listen listen to me. And now I'm getting my wish because nobody yeah, is well, listening to me. Well, you got Florida. You know, you, you got your wish in Florida. Now you'll get your wish with your listeners. Listen you're you're a pretty me. powerful person if you can change yeah. climate uh, like you did in Florida. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, you know what happens? Jack writes me about his problems yeah. while I'm doing a show here. Yeah. <laughs> and, he, and he says to me, sign in on Skype and my PC password you gave me for Skype, uh, 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 hold on a second, did not work. And my PC, oh boy. And my, That's because it's politically correct. And my PC, wait a minute, and my PC did not load. What does that mean? Well, his PC is probably referring to his computer and uh, or his CPU or, or the program. So the, the program isn't loading. Maybe it's been a while since he's done it. Is there, I remember that if, the, if you didn't do an update, uh, it wouldn't open. So maybe he has to do the current update on Skype mm -hmm. in order to get it to open. Hmm. hmm. Um, you know, you could always open Zoom without the update, I believe. But I hold thought... on a second. Let me just look this up here. All, All right. right, and then I'll I'll have to t somehow tell him uh, what it is. Let me see here. Where is the? Uh, where I is my? If I have my, Skype. Where's my stuff here? You all know the, you you don't. It, it, it's not your Skype. You wouldn't it, know. Yeah, it's uh, Alex's Skype. But Skype. you know the the, the thing is. With Skype, I don't remember my password, so I could I couldn't call the show if I wanted to. <laughs> well, uh, all I know uh, is that it, um, Jack, uh, that the name is Gabnet Live. That everybody yeah. else, everybody mm -hmm. can know that. And the the uh, well, here let me see here. Where this is ridiculous. Why is he writing me during the show? 
Well, let me oh, see. that's another guy that's not listening. <laughs> yeah. Gabnet Live. Yeah. And then I put in the, the password is. There we go. Now, now leave uh, me alone. Yeah. Leave me the hell alone. Well, weren't you in Florida uh, not too long ago? No, I was in. Uh, oh, it's Georgia. In the Cape. Oh. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, recently. Yeah. That's an easy walk, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, not driving. And um, also, uh, my daughter lives somewhat close. Mm -hmm. So I stop by and see her. Mm -hmm. So what were the room rates like at the Cape? Now, Alex is saying that it's $1,000 a night uh, to go anywhere. Uh, how what, about, how, you're not going to believe it. We paid zero. Uh, what'd you use? Marriott points? Credit cards. <laughs> oh, really? I mean, the, uh, Pam, what what do you play for? For that. Uh, but it would have been like, it would have been close to $200. I know. It should have been $200. Two or $300. But it was, 300. yeah, we just had points. We used our points. Oh, that's good. But two yeah. to 300 uh, for the Cape. Yeah, it's off oh. season, right? It's oh. off season now. Yeah. You oh, see why really nobody listens to this show? Um, why? Because listen to what we're talking about. How much well, it cost you to go to the Cape? How much it cost you to go to the Cape? Oh, no, no, we had a point, so we don't know. Well, this, is, this is what people <laughs> talk about. What do you mm -hmm. want to talk about, Trump? Mm -hmm. um, you know, aren't you tired of that? Don't you mm -hmm. want to be able not to get dizzy? I wonder if he's getting hit with the Kenny Hurricane. What? I wonder, is Mar-a-Lago in the crosshairs of the storm? I hope so. It's on Alex, the I other... More, the house is worth more destroyed than it is it, off the <laughs> It's on the other because side. Because it undoubtedly has it insured for more than it's worth. 750 yeah, million. Yeah, praying for it to fly away. Uh, 750. Oh, you know, Mar-a-Lago cost, yeah. oh. I believe it was 25 million when... Uh, now, who was the heiress that built Mar-a-Lago? I don't know. Uh, An heiress? I think he built it. Uh, she was she she was the heiress to something very wealthy woman not Kellogg uh, and a philanthropist uh, in New York and uh, in the yards yeah well, I could not there, there, I think you have me blocked on uh, Facebook you don't even get your messages no more no nah, that's true I, I wanted a break all right no big deal I thought something happened I was, is he alive I said, what's going on I don't if you know. work on it you're going to get everybody you know to not you know yeah, to block you. A couple you. of messages. Yeah, sorry, Alex. <laughs> yeah, I see you on this thing. That's all. Okay. What is that noise? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It sounds like one of those uh, scratchy things that they use in a um, uh, uh, one of those bands that uh, from the Ozarks. Oh, now he wrote me again. What did he say this time? Now have remote PC up. Oh. Huh. You know, I don't know why you didn't. I gave him all these numbers the other day. Okay, yeah. I don't know why you didn't try them today, early. Well, yesterday. Do what I did with Tony. What? Now th there may be I mean, a I, I Jack mean, Bishop yes, program tonight, the intersection, and then again there may not. Okay. Yeah. Well, your friend Mike Allen supposedly wrote. Um, uh, what do we get him? Him. Who's my friend that calls the show? Alan. Oh, I mean, what, Alan. what makes what yeah, makes yeah. what makes Irv think or Irv, Jack Irv. think yeah. that I can deal with this right now while I'm on this show? Well, does nothing go on that. before him? You know. Yeah. Well. Yeah. No. No. Nothing. Yeah, he doesn't <clears throat> watch this one, so uh, you know that's probably why. Yeah. I mean, you know. It, well, if he did, he wouldn't be messaging. <laughs> we could figure that's like flu so. <laughs> yeah. And he says, I've got remote PC up, and I don't see that he's got the remote PC up. But anyway, you know. Yeah. Hey, so yeah, I'm having so to do a show happy. here and at the same time deal with him. Mm -hmm. I, Alex, I thought Phil was going to make a joke about Alan taking his mom out. I thought he was going to say, what did you take it to McDonald's? <laughs> he said to me the other day, that he said, what I would, do would you mom. like to Come do a on, test Alan. of Skype with me? And I said, yeah, just let me know when. Well, he never did a, a Skype <laughs> test with me. Well, he's doing it now. <laughs> you know, I suppose I can start Skype up. 
Yeah. Well, but they they really, really want to blow the uh, unit up. Huh? You really want to blow the unit up. Well, I could, so, I could, I could do it. This thing's got enough power for that. Yeah. 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 Tony, do you yeah. still have cancer? Yes. Oh. Low grade, but it's, it's still there. Yay! <laughs> well, you know, you were at least the, at the bottom half of the class. That's important if it's That's low true, grade. That's true, yes. Yes, yeah. I used to sleep in class. Yeah, you would have, uh, under normal normal. Ca conditions, you would have flunked prostate cancer. I'm ready. I'm, yay. You're under, the, <laughs> under the curve. I could say this to you because I told this to Phil. I felt so embarrassed. And I thought of you when I was filling out the form. When I first went for the, to the oncologist, Oh, by the way, now we're talking about prostate cancer. This show really is a winner. Well, People, not really. This is it's the really kind of good. stuff that attracts an audience, you know? I actually thought of you, you know, why? It's a little disgusting because though she's just fill out the form. It's private. It's all right. My brother said, you just fill out the form. You need help? I said, no. I was embarrassed. This is, how much do you have sex? How long do you, how long do you stay hard? I felt like asking you, Alex, I was going to do, do I get anything for signing my name? <laughs> I, the lady says, I just, I just filled it off. Yeah, probably I for you. Did it, did it have a thing there? Have you ever had sex? I was like, not available. <laughs> I said, this is embarrassing. It's applicable. I, said, I, I, I messaged Phil. I took a picture of it. I sent it to you. Remember, I said Alex would have got like a thousand on that SAT test. Man, they would have had a picture of. All right. So it sounds like you're having fun. Oh, loads of fun. I, I don't want to go. Yeah. It was painful, but it wasn't too bad, actually. You know, Alex, I finally did drugs. He gave me uh, Valium, two milligrams. Valium. Yes. And he said, the nurse practitioner says, come in the back. My brother says, go in the back and listen to him. My brother, I'm a little nervous. He goes, don't worry. He'll give you the medicine. She says, you can take the medicine now. So I took it, and I'm sitting there like, oh, this is my big moment. I said, no, it's happy. So the doctor comes back, Dr. Shorn comes. She says, Tony, just relax. I'm going to put on the James Taylor music you want, and you're relaxed. I asked for James Taylor. Well, what are you asking? What is, is he going to have sex with you or something? What, what is this? No, what, what, what are you asking? When they were just, when they were <laughs> what are your favorite procedure? romantic songs, you know? I, when they were the theme the from Scooby-Doo. I mean, I think it's something in light, light music. But then, Alex, I sat there, and I knew it had to work. So I was like, okay, you can come in now. And I was like, okay, let's do this. I was like, I, I must well, have What did he do? Anymore. Um, they had to put biomarkers in me, so it wasn't that bad. They had my legs in like a harness on an operating table. But did they put tattoos on you? Inside, like, yeah. So when what do you mean inside? Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. I, I'll send you a thing. I have it's two kind of little basic. tattoo dots. I don't even, they, I'm just assuming they're still yeah, there. Yeah, that's where they know here, where here. to yeah. position yes. the, yeah. Uh, yeah. the machine. I had, and then when and, I, and I said to the like, doctor, you know, the first thing I said to the doctor, does this mean yeah. I can't be buried in a Jewish cemetery? Yeah. Well, and he said, no, <laughs> if you talk to your rabbi, he'll tell you it's okay <laughs> for a medical procedure. You know, they put yeah. the dots on me, and I never saw them. I, I couldn't figure out where I they still, were. I still, if I went looking for them, I suppose I could see them. No, mine are they're on the outside. They are? Yeah. yeah. Alex, I couldn't see what they were doing, but yeah, it it's on the a little bit. Yeah, I know. It stings a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, I'd say, oh, but I wasn't, my brother's like, when I came out, he says, well, how do you feel, doctor? He says, you did fine. Boy, this is really me. audience bait, isn't it? You know, but yeah. I thought of you. I was, was going to call. Uh, we're I down to 29. It. We're down to 29. <laughs> yeah. We're losing yeah. 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 So, well, uh, did they give you your first, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, radiation yet? or? Well, I have to go Friday for my simulation. They set me up. Yeah, they do and a simulation. Start, like, they do a rehearsal. Thing. It's kind of like yeah. a wedding. Yeah, do, it's yeah. kind of like a wedding. Says, they do a rehearsal. Everything's going to go good. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, the don't eat the cake. got me a nice gift. So she's, uh, they gave me some candy. Yeah. 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 But, but I mean, no, they do, they do a rehearsal. So and uh, yeah. they did mine. And then they did the, uh, the, the, for the radiation, they do the rehearsal. Yeah, that's what he did. He's doing exactly what you're doing now, what I got. You know why people don't call this show? Why? It's everybody that calls gets cancer. <laughs> you know? No, no. Not Alan anybody. hasn't had oh, cancer. I mean, uh, Jeff hasn't oh, had cancer. He thought he did. He, he thought he did. No, he didn't. His PSA went no, up and no, it was a... No, uh, no, 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 no. Alan? Yeah, no, Alan. Not, but I'm talking about uh, Jeff. Oh, Jeff, oh. Jeff hasn't had uh, cancer. I'm sterile. Yeah, well, Jeff has he had a else. He had a stroke. <laughs> which I don't know. My, my question is now, in the great scheme of things, okay, yes. does a stroke... Trump of prostate cancer? 
Yes, it does. Yeah, every but, day. Yeah. You, you know, the Always. thing about Jeff is he's uh, he's got uh, he's probably going to outlive all of us. Oh. You know? <laughs> mm -hmm. I hope we live to one hundred and fifty. So yeah. we have on mine. That's all I care about. Well. Yeah. Let me make oh. sure something here. Hold, just you minute. guys keep it. talking. It's not worth so. much, but let me make sure we know what's going on. I, I can't let this go unanswered. Uh, preferences, huh? <laughs> All right. Backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Tony background. <laughs> My brother goes, what are you finished already? I said, no, I'm just walking. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hey, hey, my house. I want, I'm going to come out there and visit right when I come. Next year, I'm going to come and visit Bob Phillips. Oh, yeah. Are you coming out here? Don't, don't, don't say it. Don't say it, Ray. Don't, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say Come on down and see me. Don't don't say it. We would. Okay. We'd wanna, hey, Alex, you should come with me. You and Jack, that would be great. Maybe. maybe us three you know what? Town. I was saying this the other day. I would love that. Uh, you know, like, Jack is now back on to do his yeah, show. Yeah, nice. Okay. And mm -hmm. you know, somebody goes like, "Well, why don't you?" Uh, because I said I didn't know of a place to put him. So I mean, the other day, Alan says, "Why don't you have him do Wednesdays or something? Why don't you have him do Tuesdays or whatever?" And I'm sorry. Why don't you ask, you know, J Josh if he wants to do uh, That's Tuesdays? That's what he asked. No, he didn't. Oh. He said, "What about you know?" And he was, he should do it on blah blah blah. Well, no, he's not available. Yeah, that's right. The only time he's available is on a Friday or on a weekend <clears throat> night. Oh, that's because he thought that you were going to throw me no, off on No, 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 no. But, I mean, people people make assumptions about, like, oh, well, why don't you and Shecky go? Maybe Shecky doesn't want to go on a goddamn vacation with me. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was just, you know, I mean, no, I mean it hurt. could be. I'm, I'm sure he and I have, have been together for a week. Uh, uh, coming across the country, and we got along fine because sometimes he just likes to shut up and say nothing, and I don't interrupt that. You know, I don't it's interrupt nice his feeling. silence. Yeah, well, silence because I know how to nice. handle him. You wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. You I, would. My brother you would. Me, you would be. You know, I, you know what my brother used to. You know, wait, 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 oh, here's another. Crazy. You want to hear the next latest message from J Jack? I'm sure he's not even listening not to find mm -hmm. out that I'm doing a show here. What's he yeah. saying? I can't sign on to Skype. Suggestions at some point? <sighs> yeah, use Zoom. Those are my house. Hold on a second, them? folks. Uh, let me see here. Let oh, me there take. Good conversation uh, going on here. Did I miss everything? Let, let me see here. I'm going to try. I, I'm going to try and sign on to Skype here. Here, okay. Uh, just uh, leave me alone for a well. You can keep talking, folks. I'm just going to yeah. us. We're not here. I'm just going to try this. Okay, there we go. There's Gabnet live, and it signed itself on. Okay, so what if I sign it off? Okay, sign out. Okay, yes. Okay, now I sign on to Skype. Let me see here. Oh no, it's going to. Oh, here we go. Gabnet Live, and uh, then it goes Baba Daba Daba, and uh, oh boy, I don't know. It's got to be right, I guess. I don't know. I'm I'm signing out. Let me sign out. Okay. No. Okay. Now let me sign in. Uh, Gabnet Live. Uh, it's a, uh, sign in. Create. Gabnet Live, Gabnet Live, okay, and then I go next, all right. This is like a, mm -hmm. uh, being taught how to sign into Jack's show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just because you can sign in doesn't mean that, I think if his thing isn't up to date, there we, wait can't get on. There we go, continue. No, no, he's. I, I don't know why he can't get on. It works for me. Okay. Why so, don't you ask him uh, if he's uh, updated Skype, his Skype, quick Skype. A client. Well, I have no idea, you know. Uh, but, you know, I mean, I, I did it. Uh, I tried it on my end. 
on my assume end. Assume that your client has been updated and, and it works. I'm done. not gonna. Uh, uh, let's see here. It would automatically update his client when he turns it on. Uh, yes. Not, yeah, on a it, Windows it, machine, it, it does. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Am I right, guys? Who use Mac. Skype? Um, uh, and it works. Okay. So I don't know what his problem is. But he should have tested this with me earlier today. See? Isn't that wonderful? He did, he, 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 I'm on the air, Jack. You know. Uh, you know. Well, Ray, how's your COVID coming? You know, the, I test negative, uh, but I, I'm having, like, I can't sleep. I have really bad insomnia since I've had it. Really? really? Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I had insomnia problems before, but they were getting better. How long ago did you, have, how long ago did you have the COVID? Last week. It's been about like a week and a half that it's gone. By the way, how much is the time between the new shot and the last time you had COVID, Alan? Three months. Three months. Oh, yeah. Ours was exactly three months. So. Perfect. You know. Why do they do that? Why do they say that? It takes your body time to the, the, the old vaccine or the extra antibodies you got from COVID you want to boost those and they're already boosted for three months and then they start falling yeah off. it was about three months maybe a little short maybe you know, a ray long. did you take all the paxlovid yeah i didn't no, take right. paxlovid oh well that might have that might have made a difference in your insomnia he was afraid of the covid would come back no the that, doctor told oh that's right i forgot sorry yeah. Yeah. Jack, I, I didn't have many symptoms I, the only symptom I had was fatigue. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, yeah. But you're in a high risk age group, so. But you, you survived. Well, I just did with the yeah. You right. survived it. You did what your doctor said. That's good. Yeah. As long as your doctor wasn't uh, Rand Paul. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, Rand Paul's an eye doctor, or what is it? Yeah, something like that. Vitamins. I uh, I forgot what they call them. I have them downstairs for sleep. Uh, what do they call the uh, melatonin? Okay. Yes, that's it. It's melatonin. Just ask Alan. Melatonin. Yeah, they actually pretty. They work if you don't take them all the time. I think I try them sometimes. So, so Ray, uh, you, yeah, um, he's 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 partly right. Sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. The trick is, is you got to take melatonin on a fairly empty stomach about two hours before you're ready to go to bed. And you can try that. You can you can go to the drugstore and just buy a good brand of melatonin. It's a hormone, but they sell it with all the other over-the-counter, you know, uh, vitamins and minerals. And I would, you know, you're a big guy, so I'd start with five milligrams. And uh, it doesn't leave you drowsy the next day or anything like that. But you, you want to? I, I disagree with I disagree I disagree with you about <laughs> melatonin. And now you're advising drugs. Uh, well, it's actually uh, a vitamin, really. No, I know it's a vitamin. No, it's a hormone. But I took it, and I was loopy the whole next day. Really? Yeah. Yes. Well, you're not supposed to do it anally. <laughs> it was a suppository. Now you're like, you're like uh, Phil. When I say something you don't like, you then pull a I, joke. I've always been like Phil. Except bigger. Well, in which case, do I need <laughs> two of you at the same time? Yeah. No wonder I feel loopy. And then I keep getting notes. I finally wrote him. I said, I'm on the air right now. You know? Well, but, well, yeah, he wants to be on the air in 27 minutes. Well, you know, I mean, he. I gave him the right name to put up there, to yeah. put in there, and uh, the right password. I signed off here on Skype and then re-signed on using my password, using the name Gabnet Live, and it worked. So if it doesn't work for him, I don't know. I'm not there. I can't solve the problem. Well, that's too bad. So back to your uh, insomnia, Ray. You might ask. By the way, talk. Josh, if you're listening, I did. If Josh, if you're listening, stand by. <laughs> I, I know what it, I, I think. I know what the problem is, Alan. I have uh, hypothyroidism. Okay. And and um, uh, COVID affects your. Th your thyroid hypo yeah, is everything. is lower <laughs> lower thyroid right 
Low thyroid? It just, said, it just said I had just lowered my thyroid medicine because I'd had trouble sleeping and I was getting better and then I got COVID and my thyroid got screwed up again. Hmm. And and uh, that was that's what, so now it's all screwed up and that's why I'm not sleeping I, I'm, probably. I'm hoping your doctor can get it under control because I know what a, an SOB that can be. So. Yeah, it sucks. It, your, your whole circadian rhythm gets messed yep. up and everything. Yep. I have insomnia too, but I, I got it. circadian rhythm. I got <laughs> circadian rhythm. That was a Gershwin song, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, do you? You know, I just got these new sheets, and I have. Oh been boy, is this is this show really? Yeah, yeah, boy, they're, this they're is... made out of a bamboo fabric, and I sleep so cool that uh, you know I get I get to sleep right away. I'm sleeping longer. Uh, I'm probably sleeping seven, seven and a half hours now, whereas I used to sleep maybe four. And uh, it, how's made, that going to help his thyroid? Well, he's trying to get to sleep. He's I got, know, but he's got thyroid. How is this discussion going to help get us an audience? <laughs> it ain't. No, you, you're going to have to pay for listeners. Hmm. You know, just uh, why don't you give away a sweatshirt or something? <laughs> <laughs> you know. I want mine in 2XL, I'll, then I'll listen more often. You, you know what, I'll tell you, I got to tell you something. Uh, uh, let's, get, let's get to something a little. I've been watching, Marjorie, you know, loves her MSNBC. So she, she watches it all the time. It's on every day, 24-7. I mean, that, that's it, you know. That's her whole world. And then she's depressed about the world around her. And I said, well, part of the reason is you're watching MSNBC all the time. I'm going to watch Fox and, and, once and, in a while. Well, or, you know, <laughs> even with Fox, here's the problem with these people is they have time to fill. They have 24 hours, seven days a week to fill. Mm -hmm. And so if they have, let's say nothing happens in the news. Oh, here we go. Another, another, another Jack Bishop. Uh, when I went to the program, it asked me, did I want to allow changes? And I said, yes. Yeah, right. Okay. Allow changes. But wait a minute, he's coming on the show with air now? You know something, I'm, yeah, not, even, I'm not even going to answer this one. I told him I was on the air. And it said, and I said, yes. Oh, well, yeah. It always asks you if you want to allow the changes. That's the what way it changes? is on Windows. You guys ever update your Skype yeah, yeah, on yeah. Windows? And when you yeah. update it, it asks you, do you want to allow this, right? And you go, <laughs> yes, and then it installs the Skype. Right, it's built into all Windows installs. Yeah. So he yeah. is installing, reinstalling Skype, right? No, I think it prob no, prob an update. it's probably, probably, either that or he could have reinstalled it, you know, and it would have done that. But it, it, if you go on, if you go on to Skype and you haven't used it in a while, it will then say, do you want to, you know, do something to it? And then you just say yes. And wow. then it will start doing it. But sure, that's, that's normal. Who knows, you know, but I'll, yeah, I'll have to call him tonight and tell him I've got problems and have him try to solve them. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't going to happen. You know, oh, you know, the other thing I wanted to ask Ray was you're going to be in a play. Uh, yeah. And uh, when does it start and uh, where is it? Oh, oh it's, it's not till November. Uh, it's not till November. 11th, 12th, 17th, 18th and 19th. Yes, yeah, only four performances. Well, there's five, but it's for high school kids. If you want to come, you know what always bothered me about that. That's his favorite age group. We used to. I used to. Uh, I used to uh, be with the Ross Valley Players in in uh, Larkspur, and we would. Uh, I was with the youth players actually, and we would rehearse a play for. How long do you rehearse a play for? Well, for the professional theater, it's between like two and a half and five weeks. Yeah. I'm doing this is a college thing as a benefit. I'm doing it as as a sort of a favor. This is like two and a half months, which is yeah, yeah. You know. But anyway, you you rehearse for two and a half months. Yeah. To then go on and do only four performances. What a well, waste of time. Yeah, uh, but that's what they do with youth theater, and this is kind of like youth theater. Yeah, well, youth mm -hmm. theater. Is, we would do like maybe four or five weeks of rehearsal, yeah. and then we'd still do two nights. And then it's yeah, all we're over. only doing, you know, five. 
<laughs> it's ridiculous. I mean, it's, usually it's like rehearsing. Things. It's like rehearsing for sex, but not actually doing it. And then when <clears> you <throat> finally do it and come, that's it. Goodbye. We'll see you later. Yeah, it sucks. But, but every night has to be opening night for the audience. You know, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. every night with me was closing night. Sales is the same uh, way. Uh, Ray, Ray, customers... Ray will like this story. Yeah, I was doing a thing with the Marin Ross Valley players with the with the, the the kids unit, and we were doing arsenic and old lace because you know of course we can't do you know plays that have sex in them. All right, so we had to, arsenic and old lace was about as safe as you get that in our town, and. Uh, all right, so we did uh, arsenic and old lace, and I come in and I do something, blah 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 blah. And we're about a half hour into the into the act, and then somehow I went up on my lines, so I said another line, and what it did is it threw us back 15 minutes into the play, and then we started redoing that whole 15 minutes because once I said my line wrong, then everybody else picked it up the next line. Mm -hmm. And so I think we, we re-ran that 15 minutes about, it was the longest first act in the history of show business, okay? An endless loop. An endless loop. And then finally the first, somebody, the play somebody whispered to me the line and I said the line and then it all fell into place. And uh, people got home around 5.30 in the morning. So like <laughs> that. that was ridiculous. The, the first play I, I did as a kid, it was exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I said the wrong line from the seat. I threw you scene, back in the we did it. We did it over again. And the, and the I, I still remember looking out there. I was like in seventh or eighth grade and seeing the parents just laughing so hard, you know, because laughing at me probably. And then... Um, <laughs> My mustache was falling off. I, you know, I had a little kid with a mustache on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't know how to put it on, so I tried to do it with double-sided tape, and it was coming off. Yeah, yeah. I was way back in the last century, but... Uh, yeah. yeah. I have no laws then, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, so, I mean, it was, it was um, um, you know, I, I always liked uh, doing theater, though. I mean, it was... It's scary, though. It's really scary. And I... I never, I, I, never I never was really good at memorization, you uh, know, and yeah. uh, then, but somehow I managed to memorize the whole play, mm -hmm. except when I forgot one line and went back in the loop, but I, 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 and so I learned kind of how to do it, and how you do it, really, is if you're rehearsing for five weeks, by the time you're doing it, you've learned it out of repetition, just pure, mm -hmm. utter repetition, because... You keep looking at the book and reading from the book and reading from the book, and they say, now put the books down, and then you, am I right, Ray? Cor mm -hmm. Correct me if yeah, I'm Yeah, except, except this show is so huge, there's like 30-something people in it, mm -hmm. and so we had to, we have to know all our lines by the second rehearsal of that scene. Oh, boy. But there's no excuse because we all knew we were going to be in it months and months ago, so... Uh, yeah, I kind of like it because it forced me to learn everything before we even started rehearsing. But if you do it over and over again, you do eventually. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, and also the your movement on stage helps your memory too. Yeah, like what's, you know, what's remember. The, yeah, what's but the, the name of the play and kind of what is the uh, what what is it about? Well, it's called Frankenstein, and it's about this monster uh, mm -hmm. that's called the creature, and there's this guy named Doctor Frankenstein who created this creature. And this creature wreaks havoc on the world. <clears throat> oh, so like Donald Trump. Yeah, so it's are kind you, of the same. He has are a you, what are you playing? What's your part? I am uh, the character is DeLacy. That's what um, he's the he's he's blind, but he went blind because of a, a war. But he te he's the one who comes upon the creature and and teaches him how to speak and how to read and and all that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. And uh, and then I also and then but then I. Yeah, then I die in the first act because he kills my whole family and me. Mm. And then uh, I play one of the grave diggers um, called Gwen, who gives him the bodies for the female Frankenstein. Mm. Uh, is that like a, being a spear carrier? No, no, no. That, no, that actually, I'm the main dude, main grave oh, really? digger dude. Yeah. So I, I have a lot of funny, I have. So I get to speak in a Scottish accent. So. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how do you do a Scottish accent? I do it. A Scottish accent? You yeah. don't just talk like this? 
I do what I just learned the lines. I just practice them with a Scottish accent. Mm -hmm. I practice them with a Scottish accent. <laughs> <laughs> you nice. try to act be like Austin Powers in uh, Fat Bastard. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scottish accent. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. So well, anyway, so so anyway, what, what I was going to say is, Marjorie's watching MSNBC over and over again, and it, it, all day long. I mean. It just, it, it's the hurricane, the hurricane, the hurricane. It, there's no other news. Like, there's nothing else happening in the world. Ukraine has finally, the war has come to a standstill. Everybody's dancing in the streets, I imagine. And uh, there are no problems with China and, and Taiwan. And no, nothing's going on, just the hurricane, right? And what makes it even worse is they do the most moronic thing. Oh, they do when, the live shot again? The live shots. I love the live shot. I want them to, it, get to begin my with. But to begin with, you know, I like a weatherman. I like a news guy yeah. who knows how to keep dry. All right? <laughs> like if it's, if it's raining outside and there's a hurricane, you don't go stand in the hurricane. You go inside and you can do your report. And if they want to show people what it's like out there, have them shoot out the window. Are they showing, Alex, the same shot that they're showing on Fox of a guy with a microphone holding on to a street sign and there's another street sign that's flattened? They all the try to look like they are unable to stand up. Like they're being like they're being they're being just batted back and forth by the storm. And I think we all remember the time yes. that uh, that uh, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, I don't uh, remember the uh, the, uh, the you know the, person, the news guy we don't like um, it, didn't like. There was him somebody much. walking with the mustache. Him. No, no, the the mustache. Uh, yeah, he uses a Spanish name. Uh, Geraldo. Geraldo. Geraldo Rivera. Geraldo's doing one of these stand-ups in the really in a hurricane or something, yeah. <laughs> and he is holding on to something you know and he's weaving back and forth mm -hmm. but there are trees in back of him and they're not moving is his hair moving? wasn't there <laughs> you know people in the parking lot walking behind him yes like yes nothing, yeah nothing yeah, was yeah, happening, like nothing was happening. <laughs> right I was a wind machine on him yeah, who yeah. knows i mean it was so stupid you know and i just hate it when they stand out there and uh, you know get inside stay safe Give your report. If you don't, and you want to see what's happening, shoot out the window, you know, but be safe. I mean, what are they trying to prove? You know, you know it, nowadays, uh, they're trying to sensationalize the news. I remember when somebody, <laughs> used, when somebody did, uh, had some uh, missiles in a photograph, and he actually used Photoshop and cloned those missiles and put two or three more mm -hmm. into the photograph the guy got fired uh i think he was with the new york times but he, he got fired because he was tampering with uh, uh journalistic news mm -hmm. and uh so you know here they got these guys there they got a fire hose on top mm -hmm. of them making it look like it's really raining and windy yeah and i mean i just it just i mean it it bothers me only because it's ginning up the news right you know and and I, I don't think you have to gin it up. I mean, you show a storm, it's pretty devastating. You'll look at it, they shoot it from a window, it looks terrible, and Jeff is falling asleep. This is boring. It's oh, really boy. boring. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Listen to this, Alex. Oh, yeah. Lex is this friend and her husband, they moved down to Florida about a month ago. Mm -hmm. So she, you know what she says on her Facebook page? She's a nice lady and her husband. But you know what she says? You know, we're safe right now, but I'd rather be here than in a blizzard in New York. So you know what I wrote? We never had to evacuate when we had snow. Come on. Yeah. How you can they even out. pull your rights on them? Come yeah. on. Yeah. Blizzard, you stayed in the house. They didn't say you got to leave. You got to leave. No, but these, these morons would like send a reporter into that snowstorm and have them stand in the middle of a snow yeah, drift. Yeah, I used to love that as a kid. You know, the up to their pupic in know. snow, you know, and <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I don't think I'm going to have school tomorrow. It's two feet. <laughs> Come on. And with the real estate frenzy that's going on in Florida now, can you imagine if you just closed on a house day before yesterday? 
and uh, literally <laughs> closed on a house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, know, you just bought a house, <laughs> boom, it's gone. What I want to know is why don't they uh, build these houses to be like hurricane proof instead of rebuilding them just as they were before? Hurricanes well, they did. Powerful. They did. In Florida, oh. they have. And that's why, oh, okay. very, why homes are not being destroyed. They're getting flooded, however. Oh, okay. And that's the problem. And these apartment buildings are all on stilts. Okay, the first floor is like the basement is on a stilt. And then they have the apartments. And they showed apartments across the street from where like Ari Velci was standing. And, and uh, there were even some uh, lawn chairs on the deck that hadn't been moved or anything because they had them kind of in a certain sheltering place. Uh, but not the bill, that building, those buildings were standing tall. They, they have been pretty good about it. That's in why Venice, it, hmm? you, 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 you know, if you if you go by the buildings in Venice and you're on the canal, mm -hmm. you see all of these uh, buildings where they're accustomed to having the water come into the first floor. And it's been that way for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if Venice, California has been around I, I for hundreds of years. Venice, Italy. Oh, Venice, yeah. Italy. Oh, you're talking about yeah. Italy. Mm -hmm. it, although Venice a while back had a problem. They got it's flooded. Thinking. They got flo well. It's sinking to begin with. Yeah, yeah. but it got flooded too. Yeah, yeah. I was just there last sum summer. All those islands in Venice just evolved over hundreds of years. Like people moved in and piled up dirt and twigs mm -hmm. and built on it. And they just kept doing that. So it's sinking, like you say. It's just it's just on top of water, basically. Well, like a marsh. Uh, if it were to start being built today, they probably would build it on a much sound, more sound foundation. Oh, yeah. yeah it's and just probably years, if a building does fall, they replace it with something that has, you know, stuff being driven, piles being driven into the, uh, you know. But they're trying. Well, I think they're trying to save it, aren't they? They've got. That's the Pisa. Uh, the, the no, Pisa, they've right. already saved that. They fixed that. Yeah. Sorry, they took the mushrooms off of it. No. Yeah. With Pisa, uh, no they were doing shows. things like injecting uh, uh, nitrogen or something into the, into the ground. How did they actually fix it? Because last time I saw it, there were cables yeah. uh, anchored to the ground. I was just there. That, yeah, they they did something in the ground to lift it. And so it's not – remember how it was at a really bad angle and they had to yeah. hold it up? So it's less of an angle now. And then they – did something to lift the ground up underneath. Mm. And so it's back to where it's original angle or maybe not as even as steep. Um, wow. And so apparently it's sound, I guess, now. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I guess right. the Italians, they pay off the building inspectors all these thousands of years. <laughs> and uh, you know, they got buildings that are toppling over, cities that are sinking. Yeah. It's income for the uh, Cosa yeah. Nostra. Yes, yeah. Alan. Alan. You guys talk about... <laughs> Donald Trump missing his court date today because he was at Mar-a-Lago. Is he mock shape? <laughs> where, where was he supposed to have a, where was he supposed to be? Uh, I don't know. Hold on a minute. I'll tell you. I have it. Was it New York? Uh, Trump a lawsuit. avoids Friday. Friday. It's not even Friday. <laughs> Friday. This great news here. Uh, Friday disposition and lawsuit. Deposition, uh, not disposition. Yeah, deposition. Yeah. It, uh, uh, lawsuit. Yeah, it's a good disposition. Being, he's in Mar Lago in the hurricane. It isn't even Friday yet. <laughs> oh, well, maybe no. he can't get out. Oh, no. no so he says Coolio, he can't. Coolio, the gangster says... rapper dead. Who? Coolio. Oh. Yeah, but wait, let's get forget Coolio? about Coolio. Who cares about Coolio? Yeah, uh, so he probably. I don't. Think Do you see any, any black people on this Florida. panel? Nobody cares about Coolio. I don't even know who Coolio I'm is. Yeah, I, know who I'm joking. Joking. I don't know who he is. But anyway, here's the point. Here's the point. Um, he, I guess, feels that he can't go to the deposition because he can't get out of Florida. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which I, you know, that's a good excuse. But that isn't going to prevent him from having to go do the deposition. At a future maybe, date, maybe we'll get but he keeps trying to stall everything, doesn't he? And now it looks like oh, he's a specialist. It looks like all the stuff he did with the special master and something is coming back to blow him out of the water. Yeah, you know? the special master that he handpicked. Yeah, is I read. Like I read that. I don't know why uh, he has. A, why there? Why is there a problem 
having this special master? What are they getting? Because there may not be any reason to have a special master, Phil. Well, well how can that hurt him? Oh, well, because it was the special out. master was, was not letting him get away with the having his right. cake and eat it too kind of thing. Right. Like where he was saying, um, if I remember right, it was well, if you claim he was saying so. that the FBI planted the, the stuff at the same time he's saying he owns it. Like you say, mm -hmm. you can't say both I, things. I thought they wanted him to prove that he declassified, and his attorneys said that uh, we are going to right. use later on in the case, and we don't want to. No, they don't want to do it yet. because they would be in trouble as lawyers if they tried to put a, move ahead with that kind of notion. Yep. I, I don't okay. know. Uh, then, uh, yeah, that's what it was. Think about it. A lot, a lot of his lawyers have wound up in jail. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. that the head of the lawyer for the Trump Corporation for 35, 40 years wound up is winding up going to jail. You had, uh, what's his name, the guy who turned tail on him, who did the whole Stormy Daniels deal. He wound up in jail. Didn't Michael he? Cohen. Um, uh, yeah, it looks, didn't uh, looks the, like Giuliani's close to getting put in the, in the slammer. Didn't, didn't the Trump lawyer of 40 or 50 years uh, get uh, things that he didn't pay tax on? That the corporation gave him stuff, yeah, uh, and yeah. He didn't, there was he a didn't lot of that. Tax, but that's but, what they got him on. Yeah, that was that really had, But you but, see, yeah, but that you don't you don't want to go into court proposing things like Trump wants you to propose because you'll be liable for that. You'll, you're you're legal. You're in legal uh, jeopardy. I, I don't and, know. I don't know why. Why? Uh, no. Well, because I, you're going in and you're lying about a client. You know that you're lying about a client. Well, it, but if the client says I declassified, and uh, well, so you're going to have to have proof. You're going to have proof of that. How did he write it down somewhere? No, did he, he fill he out? He thought, a, it. He thought, he thought it. it. He thought it. He thought it. That doesn't. That doesn't count, Phil. That does not count. <clears throat> yes, Alan. I, I thought it. telekinesis. So the special master that he handpicked <laughs> in the first week, he told Trump, "I am not having you drag your feet in this. You are muddy in the waters." You are trying to slow this down, and I am not going to do it. Now, two weeks later, he says to him, I see a lot of classified stuff in here that wasn't declassified. If it's declassified, you have to mark it as declassified, right. and nothing in this has been marked. Right. Trump picked the wrong person. No, what I, he I did it, what he did is he picked somebody that in spite of the fact that he you know, was a friend of Trump's or whatever, he was not going to. He was, he was asked to do a job, and he was going to do it properly. I think that's yeah. a, a mm -hmm. very honorable thing. Oh yeah, absolutely. absolutely. He was appointed by Reagan. He was appointed by Reagan. Yeah, but Trump asked. That, this was one of the uh, judges. He asked Trump for the judge. He for. asked for this guy to be the special master. Yeah, and absolutely. and the DOJ agreed. Yes. Reluctantly. Yes. Yeah. And, well, and, and, and the that. judge and the judge that uh, they went to that you know got all this stuff to happen was finally admonished by a, an appeals court by an appeals uh, court that for, for what she did she's probably never gonna, not gonna be able to keep that job much longer. They said she uh, acted improperly. Yeah. Be leaving in the same so he, I, he would have been I, better I, off just letting things stand as they were and go and try and defend them you know yep. But I guess yeah. they got caught with their hands. Uh, you know, uh, if the Not if the glove Trump. if the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit. That's wow. That's deep. Defense. Yeah, that's deep. That's it worked deep. for that's, OJ. Yeah, it worked for OJ, <laughs> and it worked for you know. Anyway. Hey, listen, good having you all here. By the way, I don't know if Jack's going to do his show or not. I mean, he's got the passwords, and he's got the name, and if he can't sign on, there's nothing I can do. All right? Oh, boy. Ah. Marge always makes me take the phone in here and not leave it in the bedroom because she knows Jack will call with something, <laughs> you know. But anyway. <laughs> Hey, listen, Jack may be on next, and then he may not be. It doesn't look like he's going to be because he's not signed in here. Well, anyway. Why don't you help him uh, for a few minutes? You know, oh, call him up, it, tell him what to do. Well, we'll <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, Phil. What else you got to do? You're not going on vacation. <laughs> Jeff, thank you. I appreciate it, Jeff. Really appreciate thank it. Thank you, dear. Uh, yes, <laughs> darling. Uh, uh, Tony, thank you. Don't sit down too hard, otherwise your prostate will get aggravated. 
And uh, let me see, Ray. God, good, good having you here. And of course, always good to have Alan. Everybody, why don't you give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay, all right. Let's see here. And here we are, folks. And there they go. They're through. They're finished, and so are we. That's it for tonight, folks. We'll see you again tomorrow. Jack Bishop is next. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in the meantime, as we always like to say, uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.